just wanted to take a quick video to show this. So um, I had a couple mulberries that were growing um, in a friend's lawn, and he didn't want them there. Uh, they, were, they just weren't in the right spot. Uh, so we pulled them out with a truck and uh, beat them up pretty good on the way out. But you'll notice I planted them in these little pots. Let's see if I can get it to focus, but right there on there, you can see a little green shoot coming up. Let's see. There you go. You see the green shoot on there? Same with this guy here. Let's get a little closer. You can see, even though this thing was <laughs> beat real badly, uh, getting it out of there, and uh, the roots don't look at much different from, from up here. You can see that there's little shoots coming out. This is gonna bush out. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant this whole uh, pot here into the ground. And the, the pre-existing root structure is gonna make it so that even if the deer just absolutely clobber these, they will be totally fine. They will keep on sending up new shoots, keep on feeding the deer for me and uh, keep on improving the, the soil health. All right, so here they are out in the field. <clears throat> and it'll just grow from that. And probably it'll also send up some shoots elsewhere. But you can see just popping up all over the place are those little green buds. Those are gonna turn into branches. Update on the mulberries, sorry if it's windy. Um, this one's one of the worst looking ones. We definitely had one failure. But we also had two successes. I thought of something um, in regards to the, uh, the cuttings that failed and the cutting that was not doing great. Um, and that is that in both of those instances, I put two different cuttings into the same spot. And I'm thinking what happened was that allowed um, stuff to grow in there. Um, you can see right there. I think there's some mold in there. And I think maybe putting two in the same spot potentiated that. Uh, let me know what you think about that. I'm, I'm not sure. That was just a guess. It's what I noticed was the commonality between the two uh, less successful out of the eight total plantings that I did. Here's some Chinese chestnuts that I planted. I planted three in the same spot. Um, there's one that's kind of pretty obviously doing the best over here. And then these two are struggling along, but uh, surviving. Um, We'll see what happens over the winter, but I might end up nipping uh, these two on the right and just leaving this guy. Um, I did uh, this with what's called a pit and mound strategy. I'll put you down here so you can see the scale. So I dug a pit and then mounded the soil up there. And that helps uh, with the drainage. Uh, chestnuts need really good drainage. So it's uh, best to give it to them.